Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bree. Today's video is going to be a day in my life reading vlog. I've been pretty burnt out this week. Last weekend we had Noah in my uh, wedding shower and that was a lot of fun but it took a lot out of me just being around a lot of people and all that so uh, this past few days I've just been not able to do much and I just haven't been feeling well but I'm kind of trying to get myself out of it. We have a friend coming this weekend as well so I'm like need to prepare because he's coming tonight to the house and it's just been a bit of a mess and so I want to take you along as I kind of clean I also have we set up our potted um, plants because I'm gonna try to grow some of my own food this year and I want to start the seeds because I really need to get on that so that's something I'm gonna try to do today as well but I'm also reading Nevermore the trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend my friend Maggie and I started this over the weekend and we both are about 100 pages in and I'm really really liking it so far. It's very like whimsical. You, I still don't know what's going on because you're still just being kind of introduced to the world but I think the main character Morgan is just the sweetest and like she's very funny but also like you can see there's like some trauma there of being the cursed child and stuff and it's just like I'm it, really invested in like seeing how she grows throughout the book and it just sounds so cute and like people describe it as similar to Harry Potter and I don't I'm not getting exactly that vibe right now it's very different from that but the I'm trying to think of like a movie that's very whimsical where you're just kind of like it's very much like she's dragged along and doesn't know like what's happening like so she's just taken to this new world and like trying to figure it out as she goes kind of a thing but it's like quirky and it's just so cute. I, I would really recommend it if you like middle grade and fantasy and you haven't tried it, I would give it a try. Again, I'm only 100 pages in, but so far it's really good. Um, so I'm gonna keep reading this and I don't know if I'll finish it or not, but I have some work to do, I have to clean and I'll be reading, so I'll check back in. But when I've read more and just show you kind of my day in my life right now, and yeah, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to join me. And also, if you want to leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see, I'd really appreciate that.
did some work and I um, cleaned up a bit and then when Noah gets home I'm going to clean more with him like deep clean I'm just been feeling like crap so right now I just ate and then I'm going to put my hot water bottle on and just read and hang out for a bit and then see if I can feel better and get back to it but if I I know that if I like push myself now to do all of it I'm gonna be awful later and then it'll just be like I'll be no help so instead I'm gonna take my break and hopefully feel better so that when Noah comes home we can tackle a lot of the like deeper cleaning stuff together um, but you can't see no nope, you can't see if I move but I got my calf cow here he's just relaxing so here let me show you there he is he's just chilling so that's the plan I got on comfy pants and I'm just going to relax Thank you. 
so you saw I just put seedlings in the cupboard that we have our like dishes in. I don't know how that'll work. Right now it's kind of gloomy out so it's not getting a lot of sun but during the day we tend to get a lot of sun over there. So I'm gonna try it out. This is my first time really like starting seeds. I tried to do it last year. It actually worked out pretty well but I direct sowed them because I was really late in the season. So this is my first time like starting them from a tray and I'm a little nervous but I just feel like I keep doing so much research and trying to figure out what to do and do it right and I want it to be like perfect that I'm stopping myself from starting. So I decided today I was just gonna do it and if they pop up, they pop up and if worse comes worse, like I'll buy seed starts just so I can practice gardening a little more. But I think it'll be okay. I wanna get grow lights and stuff but I just don't know if I can invest in that right now. So what I'm just hoping is to do that and there is another window that I can give them some sun. I just have to figure out a way to keep the cats out because as you might have saw, they were all up in it. <laughs> so Pippi just likes to play in the dirt and that's what I'm worried about is he'll mess with it. But I'm really like happy that I did it and I just feel like accomplished. I really like working with my hands and feeling like I did something and I really like the feeling of messing with dirt. So that was fun. Now it's all under my nails, but I don't really mind that. I just like, yeah, I just love like being outside with the dirt and stuff like that. And I'm excited to start my gardening journey. Uh, so I'm gonna finish cleaning up and then I'll probably read a bit more um, and then clean. But I'm gonna like kind of wipe down that area and put away stuff. and I have read not very much. I'm gonna sit here and read a bit more and hopefully just get maybe like to page 200. I'm on 144. Um, I've just been in a slow reading mood lately. I really haven't been picking up a lot but I got a lot done and I'm feeling like ready to just cozy up with the book but our friend's coming in around 9 tonight and no, it's getting home around 7, so I think I'm just going to sit here and read and just relax a bit. So I'm sorry this wasn't as much of a reading vlog, but I've just 
reality is I haven't been reading too much and I've just had a lot to do and I've been feeling a bit burnt out so here we are I will hopefully read more tonight and I will update you in the morning um, but yeah 